हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वंस अगेन यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइड डूब रोबोटेक एंड ऑटोमेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डेवलप एनालॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर ड्राइवर विद ईएसपी 32 यूजिंग ईएसपी आईडीएफ आईडीई सो लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड स्टेप बाय स्टेप दिस इज ई एस बोर्ड यू कैन सी दीज पीन्स आर ए ओके and these pins are adc2 so uh, i am going to use adc1 and 0 channel so you can see this is vp pin and gpio 36 i will show you schematic diagram i am using here fridging uh, you can see i am using one potentiometer its output is connected on vp and one legs of potentiometer is connected to ground and another leg is connected to 3.3 volt okay so this is schematic arrangement and now we will see programming so uh, this is earlier project gpio interrupt i will create here new project so go to view and command palette and new project click on new project okay here type project name adc input okay now check here com port is 10 it is uh, board is connected now go to template choose template and select this one and click over here and click on yes okay yes okay now close this one maximize this okay close this go to main and click on main.c here we'll start writing the program okay so first of all we will configure the adc before configuration this adc we will include adc header as include driver adc.h okay now we will configure the adc channel so adc1 okay here we will pass as argument adc1 channel 0 because of you are using adc1 channel 0 okay now i will pass here adc attenuation it will be 11 okay it is undefined why go to definition it is correct okay no worry now we will set the adc width so adc1 underscore config width and we'll pass here adc width 12 okay this is macro i think this is enum okay so if you will pass this adc will be 12 bit okay if you want to config 10 bit adc then you have to pass adc with bit 10 okay so as per your requirement you can use now configuration is done i will use here while loop it will be true and we will start the reading the adc so adc1 underscore get raw and pass your channel adc1 and channel 0 okay and it will return the adc value so we will store this 
in a variable it will be a dc value okay and we will declare here as a global variable okay initialize with zero now we will print this adc value so using print of function adc value is percent d adc value okay and use here new line escape sequence now i will use here delay v task delay it will be 100 millisecond portic underscore period underscore ms okay now everything is okay once i will build this program okay we get this error so i know why we get this error so we have to include free orders header okay now we will again build this code okay code has been built successfully now i will flash this code just just click on flash and select here your word okay okay now i will open terminal You can see a DC value is printing. Now I will rotate this knob. See, a DC value is increasing. If I'll rotate in clockwise, see, a DC value is getting down, it is decreasing. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you really like this video, so please do like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching.